Okay, Kazooie, what are you doing? Alright, hi everybody, welcome back to, uh, um, let's play Banjo-Kazooie with me, Splitable and Fidu. And me, Rock, Paper, Mario. And last time we left off right in front of the Treasure Trove Cove, and, and now we're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, um, Splitable Infinitive is the one playing for this one, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh crap, and I have Snackers, too, my childhood, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, horror. <laughs> You should just go and get that Jinjo as, like, the first thing, seeing as you start, like, on top of it. Yeah, I'm gonna... He, he scares me, even to this day. <laughs> go, go, go! Get the Jinjo, get the Jinjo, go! Go, go, go! I like... The music is scary, too, so it's like... Uh... <laughs> I know. Okay, actually, um, something, I don't know if you know this, but, um... If you hit those crabs with a butt stomp instead of just spiking or rolling into them, they give you two honeycomb pieces instead of one. Yeah, it's really handy. Alright, now I don't exactly remember where all the notes are in this place, but we'll find Yeah, I think Treasure Trove Cove is one of those ones that you can't, like, have a path where you get all, you know, like, a path along which to get, like, all the notes, and you kind of just kind of end up kind of hoping that you get them all along the way. Yeah, exactly. Um, I usually start out with the, um... With the, the lovers, yeah. yeah, with the ship, and before I do the whole that move thing, I usually um I usually die. <laughs> I usually do this. <laughs> oh, what that me, Captain? I'm a Captain Blubber. I'm a lost the treasure when the ship a crashing. <laughs> Why does everyone sound like the Chancellor all of a sudden? I don't know. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help me? Was that all the pirate voice? That was good. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> so there's like two holes of this ship. On one of them, you land on a box. <laughs> oh, We're being very informative today. I, I know. You land on a box. Believe it. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not used to being informative, seeing as how like the majority of my let's plays are blind. <laughs> we like um. Whenever I hear the word box, I think of that line and. In that song in the Nightmare Before Christmas, where he goes, "This is a thing called a present." The whole <laughs> thing starts with a box, and then your man is like, "A box? How delightful! A box or something like that." E -gum -gum. <laughs> it's cheap. So I grab the e -gum -gum. E -gum -gum. Yeah. Um. E -gum -gum. I'm actually pretty surprised at myself. Oh, there's an e -gum -gum up here too. Well, don't give him the treasure. <laughs> He said he could both He's sad though. I know. You have to, he's all like, and like, if, I, if, if the only thing I could do to communicate was to burp, then I'd be pretty sad. <laughs> Did you go in the hole, Banjo? Good lord. For some reason, uh -huh. these notes right here are the hardest for me to get. I think any notes that are in the water are automatically the most irritating ones to get. The the easiest way that I can explain to get them is I start at one end of the room and then swim diagonally down towards the other end, and then I just make mm. a sharp turn. Like I have it. Like, I'm. This is, this is the game that I'm going to be most informative about because like I've played it so many times. But I don't. Yeah. Want, I don't want. You, I don't want you boring or anything. Don't worry, if you start being boring, I'll shoot you in the shoulder. Oh no, Samuel L. Jackson, don't do that. <laughs> You'll have to call the wolf to clean you up. Let's give this fat so his treasure back. Come on. Oh, don't be so mean to him, I like Captain Blover. There are so many likeable look at him. The treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off for spend, spend, spend. <laughs> he doesn't want to start a 401k or anything like that. <laughs> he just wants to spend it all in one place. <laughs> okay, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I'm like, what was what Squidward's that? It's like, ha ha ha. The first one from was like, Oh my god. Okay, so this is this is probably the best move. The most convenient move, and I'm so glad we learned it so early in the game. I, I, yeah, well, 
the talent trumps are probably the best one in the entire game. Yes, yes, very true. The only thing that I don't like about it is that, like, um... I mean, if you don't have a flight pad, you can't do anything. So. Mm. Alright, where should I go? The only thing I don't like about it is that it makes a certain part of the game really easy to die on, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I go this way first. But Those no. treasure chests. <laughs> I press A instead of B, which is just. I always press like I always press like Z instead of B for no reason, and then he just like flies past, and I'm like, no, no, I wanted to land there. <laughs> Snacker's coming to get you. Yummy, yummy. Snacker gets dessert. No. Because it's just there, all of, all of bird or whatever. Well, we creme de la creme a la Edgar. <laughs> Edgar is like your favorite. You have an emotional attachment to Edgar. Okay. I like all Edgars. Like Edgar the Crab, Edgar the Kingler, Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. The... <laughs> yeah, I like that Edgar too. And I like, um, Edgar in the Aristocats as well, even though he tries to, like, send him to Timbuktu. <laughs> Aw, do Grunty. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> My bad. There's this, some of the ones that she says when you're walking around Grunty's there are really, like, labored sound. There's, like, one, and I can't even remember which one it is, but, like, some of them are really funny, but one or two of them are really kind of just, like, Oh, with, oh you but just should have left that well. out. <laughs> yeah, some of them are just kind of... Okay, you know what weirded me out? There's just this random note. There's one note right here. Maybe it's like to, like... To, like, avert your eyes towards the... The cave. Maybe. Isn't there a ginger on one of these trees? It's actually on the slope of the mountain. Get away from me, you clam. For some reason, those clams... I'm, I suck at killing those clams for whatever reason. Oh, I usually, um, do the thing, what's it called? The thing where you, like, jump and press B and Kazooie beaks them. That's the rat attack rap or whatever The rat attack The rat attack rap, like the Pokemon. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I know to kill them, I don't know. I, I don't, I just, I, I just avoid them. Because they <laughs> jump all over the place and I can't get a good shot on them, you know? So I'm just like, screw this. <laughs> They're just exactly the same as those guys in the washer temple. I call them butt ass. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if I can get this. Because I didn't get the move. I didn't get the jumping move. Yet. Why did why did I head up? Maybe I can still get it. I, oh, yeah. yeah, I can still I get it. The, the jump the jump pad is just a just a um A oh. convenience. Yeah, it's oh, don't forget the bitches switches! I got the bitch switch. It took me so long to figure out how to get that. No, no. <laughs> it's the easiest one to get, but it's, for some reason it took me forever to figure it out. Oh, man. Let's get these notes! Notes? I'm so glad that you're the one who's doing not the next world, but the world after that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I can't get it! Because you have to use this to get up there! <laughs> 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 okay, fine. We'll fix this. We'll make this right. Yeah, I lo this is one of my favorite levels, and I don't know, because a lot of people don't like it for whatever reason. Or, I like it. Yeah, I really like, I like it. I like all of the levels in this game, but like there are certain parts in certain levels, like a certain thing that has to do with a certain crocodilian friend of ours. Oh, that I God. Don't... <laughs> oh my God, I just... you want to die. I completely screwed that up. <laughs> but yeah, the, but what's his name? Like, alligator, whatever. Yeah, I hate that guy. Let's go ahead and get that guy, I, it usually takes me like three or four attempts to get the last one. Oh, well there's a honeycomb. Do dad die right there. Let me go get that guy. Yeah, seeing as they're not dangerous yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They'll get to be... Oh, you know what? I don't know why I did why I went up there first, because usually I take care of that guy right after I do Yeah, that's what I usually do as well, yeah. Let's go ahead and take care of him, since you don't need any special moves to do it or anything. I can't believe it. <laughs> Ugh, so I love that guy. What's he his name? Is he Snips or Snipper or Snippy or... Nippers. <laughs> Nipper. <laughs> oh, my thank our station brain! <laughs> 
I think it's really funny that like the that for for certain reasons that we both know that like Jota, the image that we used for the video where we did the explaining thing. Oh yeah. Where that kind of implies that you were Kazuki and I was Banjo for some reason. <laughs> I think it's fitting. Oh, we didn't explain it's... that at all. Okay, so he, he like he 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 clips four times and then after he clips, you beat Parappa the rapper in the face. Yeah, tap rap. <laughs> tap rap. Yeah, that that too. But like, how do you kill him? Where does he go? Maybe that's him. Oh, I just killed him. Turns into a small crab. <laughs> but he's okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. Split the poop as well, apparently. <laughs> we'll, we'll go but, with uh, that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, because like, <laughs> because one of the nicknames that Bottles has for Kazooie <laughs> is Chicken Leg. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know if the viewers know this, but me and Harry have this ongoing joke about chicken legs. Well, chicken products in general. <laughs> because we were on Skype one day, and um, and I was like, okay. Oh, the impression of your dad. <laughs> oh, an impression of my dad? Well, he comes into my room and he's like, well, Amanda, it's time to eat oh, dinner. <laughs> <you've been> <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what are we having? And he's like, we're having chicken. <laughs> Or something, and I and I'm like, oh, he said was, Amanda, the chicken legs are done. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and uh, Dog Buttman was in the same chat, so I was like, all right, well, I'll be back in about 20 minutes or something. So then Harry was like, I, I guess while I was gone, Harry was like, well, I deduced that how, however long it takes to eat chicken leg multiplied by the amount of time that you were gone is, is how many chicken legs you ate and like you're like did you eat 44 chicken legs <laughs> and then we were saying that like how how did you cook nothing else except chicken legs where did the rest of the chicken go <laughs> And you were like, no, I eat the chicken legs, and my dad eats the chicken breast, and I was like, but there, there's no chicken left, what is her poor mom suffering mother? There's wings, she likes wings. <laughs> so yeah, I think it just escalated from there, now whenever, like, Amanda mentions her dad, I, like, I, like, presume that he has a chicken breast in one hand. A chicken breast in one hand and a honey baked ham in the other. Yeah. <laughs> Those hands of his look like you. Honey baked hands! <laughs> They're the size of honey baked hands. I didn't know there was a mumbo token up here, but I guess there is, so let's go ahead and grab it. <laughs> it's a reward for testing out the jump pad. I guess so. Well, anyway, yeah, this is the jump pad as we clear the plane. <laughs> And if you feel like I think you can fix things itself. I think so, yeah. But if you can't make it, because when I first played this, for the love of God, I was so bad at doing the jump pad. If you, um, you can also do like a flutter jump while you're in the middle of jump padding, so. <laughs> jump padding. <laughs> like shoulder padding. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're so gonna forget to get that jiggy that's on top of no, the No, I'm, I'm about to go back for it, actually, that's where I'm going right <laughs> now. No, don't egg! <laughs> there we go. Um... No, no! <laughs> I almost the edge! Way to not be a failure. Some of the jumps in this game are so frustrating, there's a certain part in, like, Mad Monster Mansion where you have to like jump up on top of the thing and like it's it's really like Why didn't you just do it this way in the first place? Couldn't you just like fly up there and like That's get not how the go? game wants you to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't question my authority. Aren't the two um aren't the two of the honeycomb pieces and one like in the water and one over the water? Oh crap, I don't even know where the honeycomb pieces are. Oh, I know where they are. I can that's, remember. That's the only thing in this game that I can't remember where they are. The honeycomb pieces. I always forget where they are. I always forget where one of them is in... I always forget the one in Clanker's Cavern where you have to, like, swim up into the pipe. Well, I didn't mean to come over here, but I guess we're gonna do this part now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing about this game. I love 
the way the worlds are so big and non-linear. Yeah, it's so exploratory. I know there's a Jinjo over here, so let's go and get it. Um, but yeah, that definitely the exploring factor. And what I love about it is it's kind of- Oh, we got all five Jinjo guys? Wow, I forgot I didn't notice that we got all five of them. Yeah, me either. Go ahead, because then we can eat it and log her on. <laughs> like, pure gold. 